Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Super Robot Shogokin God Sigma from Bandai's Tamashi Nation line. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. There it is, good old God Sigma. This is a mecha from 1980. Uh, it's actually an anime from 1980. It was a space mecha. So here we go. As you can see he has a nice sword and a shield and I'll show you what he's got. There it is, Super Robot Chogokin Tamashi Nation Bandai, made in 2015. And there it is, the Super Robot. I wish I knew more about this. God Sigma. There's the top of the box, side of the box. And I like the hyper realistic back of the box. Alright, Tamashi Nations. Side of the box, very nondescript. Did I show you the bottom? Perfect. I think I got all sides. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Oh, move him up. I had to connect his sword because it is kind of painful to put his sword in. It'll only fit in his open palm. But there we go. Size comparison right there. He's about a deluxe size class, about 5 inches, 15 centimeters. Let me show you what you come with. You got two open hands, two closed fists, his shield, his wings, a little attachment for his sword, which attaches in his wings, and this little piece right here. That, if you put in the back, you can display him in a stand. Let me go ahead and show that real quick. There's this little notch right here, and all you have to do is put it over here, and now you can connect it to a stand. Uh, I don't really know why the guy is made of die cast. A good portion of die cast in here, by the way. So, yeah, he has no trouble. No trouble. And standing, that is. So, we're going to go ahead and connect his wing, make him more majestic. There we go. Yeah, and he's got a really, really big sword. Overcompensating for what I have no idea. The thing is almost as large as he is. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Look how big that thing is. I'm not joking. That thing is almost as big as he is. He's nicely articulated too. You also get a good instruction sheet as well. Detailing on how to make a few things here. Or how to pose them. His ankles for some odd reason can also... So if you want to add a little bit, they just pop out. there. just an extra inch or so, quarter of an inch height there. So just for... Just makes him a little touch taller. All right, let's go ahead and work with the pieces. And one thing is that these things are interchangeable. These are the hands. So all they do is pop off and bam. They pop right off and then they just pop right back in. I like the joints. You got a nice little ball joint and a swivel over there. Also, these spikes are pretty... They're not as sharp, but the one right back here certainly is. So be careful when you're playing with him on that one. And there's also this little attachment that just pops off. And this is what the sword hilt is for. So you can kind of store it because obviously this big sword ain't going to fit in there, right? So, and if you want to say by the power of Grayskull and try to gre re uh, grab your sword, yeah, you can do that. Kind of neat. Yeah, articulation is nice. Very nice. And I'm going to show you the shield here after I'm done with the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. There is a neck crane. So yeah, you can pose this guy. It, it, no lack of posability. You can see swivel in a swivel joint in the shoulder, ball joint. And unfortunately, the hand does come off. Or sorry, the elbow does come off. But you have a ball jointed there and a swivel. So you can definitely move that. And that's good. This moves as well, whatever the heck that is. I got an ab crunch and a swivel on the waist. Ratchet joint, you can hear that, and a ball joint. So you got a ball joint in the hip, ratchet at the knee, and you know how I love ratchet. Same thing, ratchet at the or, or at the ankle, and it swivels and pivot. It pivots a little bit. So ooh, I just love that ratcheting. Most definitely posable. Look at that. Look at the range of posability on that. Very nice, very nice. So let me just zoom in there. Very good range of posability. One last thing I was going to show you is his shield. 
you have to put this under slung it's kind of weird so just slip it in here it only works in the open or sorry the fist that is closed but has a hole in it there's all right and it just pops in you know, make sure it does this it just pops in right there perfect so you could you can carry a shield and a sword extremely poseable I, I really like this figure and you can get them for cheap nowadays really cheap there's no doubt extremely articulated figure if you want just gonna pop this off so you can see a nice little heroic pose with his sword and his shield yeah look at that wonderful wonderful figure if you you can get it for cheap nowadays it probably costs like thirty dollars nine out of ten I just love the weight of it because of the die cast in there that's posability it's a small figure but it used to retail like 60 70 bucks but now it's down to 30 so snatch it up if you can all right youtuber that's all i got and i'll catch you all next time